everybody. <laughs> good afternoon to Tuesdays yeah, with Fran. Not, not good. It's not good afternoon. It's not good afternoon. And Mega Windy. So, hello. My name is Fran. My name is Elo. And we are broadcasting today from the incredible Romanesque uh, monastery of Leire. Look at that. Wow. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. Do you forgot that it's really cold? It's very, very cold. It's like 65 and mega windy. But let me show you. Hola Mary, how are you doing? So good to see you. Let me show you the, view, the amazing view we have in front of us. What is that, Hello? Uh, this is a border of the Kingdom of Navarra. This is the last border of the Kingdom of Navarra in the 11th century. And what we are watching now is the Pyrenees Sea. It is called the, the Pyrenees. Ocean, the Pyrenees. Yes, yes, the Pyrenees this is an Ocean. This lake. And as a, hello, hi, Katja. Hi, James. We are at the border of the two ancient kingdoms of Navarre and Aragon. And to understand where we are right now, yeah, in fact, it wasn't Aragon. It was it not was Aragon. the kingdom then. of the Muslims. The Muslims. Yes. There we go. That's the important thing. Because right there, that land, hola Lisa, uh, it was what today is Aragon, but back then it was Moorish establishment. Okay, it was Moorish land. The thing is that the kings of Navarre, uh, starting from the 9th century, they created here a border where we are right now, and all along the border we have one monastery a few kilometers away, a castle, then a monastery, then a castle. And one of the most important ones, it is the amazing monastery of Lake, the one we are visiting today. Take a look at this magnificent construction. I think this is the most important place in the history of Navarra. It is, I, I think so too. So this monastery was constructed in a, on the 11th century, it is Romanesque style. Here uh, the abscess, as you can see, they have double, it's very high to be Spanish Romanesque, okay? We have two levels, one here and one over here. This is called the Crypt, which is what makes the Monastery of Lady a little bit special. Yeah, uh, yeah. We're gonna go right in, okay? We have the keys. Yeah, I got the keys. Let's go directly because it's windy, windy. Well, look at the environment around us. I mean, isn't it beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place? Hola, Susie, how are you doing? Okay. Oh boy. Really, it's a very, very, very cold day today here. We were not expecting this wind. Sorry for the <laughs> wind and the craziness and the whole thing. Okay, so we have the master of the keys, and take a look at that. So, as you can see, we probably now the connection might be a little weak. Okay, so we're gonna move very, very slow. And unfortunately, hey James, how are you doing? Janet, how are you doing? Manina! Oh, Susan, hello everybody. So the thing is that this incredible monastery uh, it was not constructed for Wi-Fi, so inside of this crypt, which is very beautiful, there is absolutely no connection, so we have to stay in here. But uh, this crypt that we see, okay, I don't even, my fingers are, okay, yes. there we go. This, this is my favorito. Yes, that capital. This is my favorite okay. one. So the thing is that this structure that we have in front of us, it was constructed to label the mountain that we have here. Okay, you saw that we have a big mountain. It is called the mountain range of uh, of uh, Leire. And it's a huge, huge cliff. The thing is that the, due to that cliff, they wanted to construct this huge church that we're gonna go see. They need to construct this, uh, this script to level up. And they did it in a very, very simple and humble way with this proto-Romanic uh, structure. Okay, so all of these columns and all of these capitals, so raw and so strong, they are proto-Romanic, which I think are super beautiful. Okay. Yeah, it is really incredible because it is like a kind of test. The I think the architect he didn't know what he was doing. It is like a 
kind of test and he was uh, preparing everything as much as he was constructing because so, of that it is so incredible so i think it's i mean to me the romanesque style is so strong and so powerful okay so but you're right i think they were trying to figure out how to save that that cliff that difference in the landscape okay so and it works it works because we are still having the we chart, still have the chart. Yes. yes so uh, okay key number two okay one of the things i love of this monastery is that it has a hundred thousand keys and everything opens one thing and Listo. ready go now it's gonna be again mega windy we're coming out hola wendy do have a community of 20 Benedictine monks living in here. Back then this was a monastery uh, and here there was a cloister that unfortunately it was destroyed. Yes. Today this space is a hotel. Yes. A very humble hotel. It's a two stars hotel that you can live in which I think is incredible. I think in the it w at the start it was like a place to to spend some weeks only for men but now it's open to everyone yes. who want to mm, to stay yes. <laughs> and have a little to stay money. alone <laughs> but <laughs> a little bit Perdón, boring sorry. you're right <laughs> so here is the big 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 church of Lay. and uh, the thing is that if you know about construction we have here some buttresses okay this is the romanesque way of holding uh, the churches in the Gothic time, they constructed flying buttresses. These ones, much, much bigger, because they're going to hold the weight coming from the vault. The thing is that part of the church that we have here, it is Romanesque, but the ceiling fell down and it's Gothic. That's why we have buttresses and flying buttresses. Okay, so let's go see. Once again, sorry for the wind, because really, it's kind of crazy. But, <laughs> I think it's worth visiting this magnificent place today. By the way, uh, somebody has asked me, uh, does it snow in here? Yes, it does. And every year, even today, the monks get isolated for a week or something like that in the winter. So, really, it's a strong, strong winter in here. Okay? We're very close to the Pyrenees and it's super strong, uh, the winter up here. Yeah, of course, they care about the villages, if there's some not good roads, but then it's what the monks are taking care of. So here, as we say, we have this incredible mountain range overlooking this valley so beautiful and here so what we have yes, it's, it's, you're right Jan it's so beautiful this other part it is what we call the modern monastery it was constructed on the 17th century okay, in the 1600s this is the modern one and this is where today the 20 monks are living and they still live here okay yeah and there are some young ones yes, yes. Oh. this is quite interesting okay. one of the things we really want to thank it is the people from Leire, especially Isabel Carrillo. She has opened all the doors for us. She's trying to manage to get us an interview with one of the moms in here. Okay, so hopefully after Christmas we'll be back here and we'll I will do. I can do that. Yes, I can do that because I am a woman. Yes, and she will I know that. Time. So fingers crossed that. Here, 
we have Let's see if we get right underneath. Okay. Okay. Mejor, no? I think it's a little bit better. You're right. So here we have some mortal scenes. This first, the light is beautiful. The wind makes it hard to hear you. Sorry, Lisa. <laughs> we know it's like hell. It's driving us crazy. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. So that first symbol that we have on the right, the man with the bag, that is gluttony. Represents that one is easy, okay? Because he is holding a big jug of wine and everything. Then you have two sons, and you have you see those two birds picking on each other's in themselves on the legs. That is yes. envy, which I think is like, what the hell is that? And the next one that looks like a woman holding her breast yes. when it's and everybody thinks, oh, that has to be last the one that right now we see all the sun but it's not lust that is greed those are two bags of money okay so yeah. that is greed in Spanish we said la avaricia rompe el saco la avaricia rompe el saco I don't greed know if in breaks English. the huh? the money yeah. yeah anyway the other thing that is very important it is this uh, capital because this capital it is the signature of probably one of the most important craftsmen in the Middle Ages Maestro Esteban. Have you forgot the most uh, funny scene that okay, we I'll have? Go to the Sorry, Last. you need to say yes. <laughs> yes, okay. it is the most funny. Okay, so <laughs> this signature. Let's go. <laughs> let's, let me finish first with this one. <laughs> you were this, trying uh, to escape. This image is uh, the signature of Maestro Esteban, which is the most important uh, craftsman of Middle Ages yeah, in because, Romanesque style. Yeah, because he worked. In Santiago. Yes, you will find his work all the way from the beginning here at the beginning of the Camino de Santiago because we are in the Camino de Santiago, by the way. And it goes all the way to Santiago de Compostela to the end. So, Ella is talking about one symbol that represents. Okay, let me see how I get it. It's not that I don't want to show it to you, it's, that it's kind of very, very difficult. Yeah, it's not easy. No, no. Uh, now ah. you're saying that it's not easy? <laughs> okay, <laughs> that symbol over there, it is what represents last sex. And everybody thinks it's, because it's a woman with her legs spread wide open, and everybody thinks that that is last, the position of her legs. But it is not. What is last is what she's doing with her hands. She's tossing her hair, she's touching her hair. That was considered to be a very luscious thing. Uh, how to say it? Además es que es el que más veces está representado. It is more represented in everything. I think it's, it's the, the, the more that we used. I guess, yeah, I guess it's the scene that more people suffer from. <laughs> and the thing is that why? I mean, this symbol of women touching their hair being a luscious thing, we think it's like an old thing, but it's quite a modern thing. The three monotheistic religions, they still, we still have it. Women went to mass in Catholic churches covering their hair. A bride covers her hair. The nuns cover their yes. hair. The Muslims, they cover their hair. And the Orthodox Jewish, they even shave their hair or wear a wig. So the three monotheistic religions, we still have something with the hair. Okay, anyways. It's incredible. But it's incredible. Yes. But shall we go in? Okay. You have inside there is no wind at all because really oh sorry for that look at the views is that a beautiful place to construct a monastery okay 
nuestro Uy, a ver Yo me encargo Ok Cierra, cierra, cierra Ok, you have to close the door Ok Yes, this is nice and warm. Okay, so, oh my God, this is such a beautiful, beautiful church. This is Romanesque style. What we see here is Romanesque, okay? Romanesque, it is 10th, 11th century, 12th century. Then what happens is the ceilings at that time, they were quite flat. And here, as we said, it snows a lot. They didn't know how to make vaults. On the 11th century. So the thing is that uh, the snows, the snow falls, they would break the ceiling and uh, it took us all the way into the 16th century when we constructed this gothic ceiling. So you remember that outside we had buttresses and one flying buttress, well the flying buttress is holding the weight of the vault. It is incredible because we can see here the three the three styles and we can see quite easy in in a easy way the difference from one and the second one between the Romanesque Romanesque style at the start of the construction and in the end with the Gothical style. So so beautiful. But what we say normally is that this church is Romanesque style, Romanic style. Uh, Romanic, you have to understand that what we do, it's we are, this is the first Christian architectural style, okay? So that is very, very important. Besides that, okay, we cannot walk any farther than this because connection, we have been testing and it goes very, very low. Here, what we have, it's in here, we have the pantheon of some of the royal kings and queens of Navarre. Okay. The first one, in fact, the first king and queens of the kingdom of Pamplona. Mm -hmm. this, uh, this gate is from the 14th century, although the king and queens come from the 9th century. Okay? Obviously, inside of that little box, we only have bones anymore. We don't know. We don't know, because we I have don't never know. opened okay. it. And in the main altar, we have her, the Holy Mary of Lady. There we are. I wish yes. I could make a little closer, but that's her. Anyway, uh, one of the things I really love of Romanesque, well, look at the incredible organ that we have yes. right behind us. It's almost 3,000 pipes. Right? It's an amazing good. And they have restored. Yes, in the last recently restored. It's, yes. It sounds heavenly. And that's what takes me to Romanesque. Romanesque is about silence. And I was telling you that here we have a community of 20 monks, Benedict monks, living in here. And every day they sing a Gregorian chants. So here the acoustics are very special. And some of the brides are open to the public. Yes. We if can I, come in the afternoons and okay. listen to so them, yes. If you want to come to Lady and listen to the I have the timings when they sing. They sing at six o'clock in the morning, seven thirty, nine fifteen, ten, seven o'clock in the afternoon and nine ten in the at night. They sing two more times, but they're private. Nobody is allowed to come in. So those are the times that everybody can come, come over here and listen to the monks singing Gregorian chants. And it is, it is incredible yes. because we can see how they get inside the chart using the door yeah, on the, the right with their black suits and yes. they start singing and the yes. sound is incredible. The acoustic. So the only thing we can do to show you the acoustic is I know for me to sing nothing. Uh, I'm gonna go all the way to where they sing. Hello is gonna get them. Yes. Uh, okay. I will take that. Okay. I'm gonna take the microphone off. Ah, yes. Okay. So. Oh, oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Okay. Male. Um, I'm not going to talk. Don't worry.
let's see. Okay, let me get a mic. So as you can see, the acoustics are really amazing, really, really special. I imagine this with different voices and, a, you know, this Romanesque thing. The thing is that Romanesque is about introspection. It's trying to look for God inside. I wish there was a smell of vision in here because you could smell the incense. They had, a few hours ago, a service in here, the monks, and they use incense every day. So the smell, it's very incredible. And the acoustic and the silence of this place. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take a couple of panoramic images in total silence so you can enjoy the beauty and the quietness of this place. I just love this quietness, this <sighs> silence, these moments of, well, if you, well, if you pray of praying, if you just meditate, it's, mm, I love this, this monastery. Okay, so let's come outside. I hope you liked my little singing, which I don't sing at all. Is this in the Camino? Yes, James, we are in the Camino. We are in the Camino de Santiago. This is the Aragon uh, part of the Camino. So yes, we are in the Camino. Tissues, please. Whoa. That's a lot of sun. So, hola Cindy, thank you everybody, uh, as we are in the Camino, one of the things, uh, remember that we do have our 2022 days for our Camino tour in Traveling the Steps, if you want to take a look at that, uh, we're not coming to this monastery, but we'll be visiting some amazing monasteries, what else, uh, thank you Ella for joining in today. And thank you everybody. Remember that if you could leave us a tip, we have the tip jar. It's in the feed in here. If you cannot leave us a tip, also you can help us big time uh, if you share this video. So thank you so, so much. Everybody, see you uh, next week. See? Don't yes, I guess so. <laughs> yes. Let's take a little final pano at this beautiful valley. It is incredible with the sun. Will we come here on the Camino Tour on this one? Uh, no, we are not coming to this monastery. It's impossible to visit all Everything. the monasteries. Ah, the beautiful sunset. Everybody, have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.